Hello Cancer and welcome to your birthday month tarot readings with me. Happy birthday dear Cancer. If you're new to my channel please do subscribe so that you're notified every time I release a new video. So my dear Cancer what's in store for the birthday month? Well in the beginning you are in an expensive mood my dear Cancer. The first week sees you in an expensive mood, more spendthrift mood. You have been spending a lot. Are you parting a lot, my dear Cancer? Because in the first week of the birthday month, we see that there is some kind of constraint regarding money. Some of you most probably have been expecting to get uh, some money coming in. Uh, somebody has owed you money and they have not kept their promise. The money hasn't been returned. So you are a bit upset why the money hasn't come back. I also see that there is some kind of botheration regarding money. Maybe uh, you didn't plan your budget so well, which is unusual actually because Cancerians are very good at um, organizing themselves financially. But this time it seems that there are a bit of extra expenses that you haven't thought about and suddenly some extra expenses come your way and you're losing money in the first week. The first week is all about the material domain and there is a kind of a pinch that is seen over here. So my dear Cancerians, I would really like to suggest to you that please keep a small piggy bank and keep on, you know, putting a little bit of money in that so that when there are times like this, you know where to go and where to find your storage, your secret storage, your little piggy bank, okay? Of course in your bank, but you should have a small piggy bank in your house also. So please try to do that, uh, my dear Cancer, because the first week is about material constraints. And then with this energy uh, where there have been a little bit of problems regarding your money, regarding uh, maybe your, you were expecting a salary hike but they haven't given it to you. So these kind of things, um, with this energy we are going to the second week. And what is the second week? Well, the second week is exactly opposite of the first week. And how is that happening, my dear Cancer? Whatever the botherations have been in the first week are disappearing in the second week because you are entering a period of chance and luck regarding money matters, regarding your enterprises in the second week. If you have had this problem regarding money in the first week, my dear Cancer, then the second week is bringing in a much reassuring energy regarding your money matters. It is getting a reassuring energy for all your enterprises. Whatever has been blocked in the first week is getting de-blocked in the second week for you, my dear Cancer. So use this period of luck and chance very wisely because most probably it is the gift of the universe for you and you need to use it to your advantage. And how do you use it? You need to multiply these experiences. So be wise in your choices. Moreover, the second week is seeing growth. It is seeing promising projects coming your way. I also see in the second week, uh, my dear Cancer, is that the, the soil of your mind, I would put it uh, met metaphorically, um, I would say that whatever at this point is coming in your mind, imagine your mind is like the earth, okay? And you are adding some very beneficial ingredients to this earth to make it more fertile. So you are putting in all the positive thoughts in your mind in order to make your mind very fertile with lots of positive thoughts of creativity, of gaining something very, very positive and this is going to manifest for you my dear Cancerians. So keep in mind in the second week use the law of attraction because this is what is going to get you what you want in life and the law of, of attraction is all about wanting what you want, um, deeply desiring what you want okay and 
you have to manifest it you have to visualize that it's actually happening with you you already have it and this is what the universe is telling you in the second week my dear cancer is that go for the gold go for the gold in the sense make it happen now whatever your dreams your aspirations are the the time is ripe to achieve it and this is the second week so use it um, because everything that you have asked for in the second week is going to go a long way so be careful of what you're asking for in the second week then we are going to the third week after a triumphant and successful second week that you are attracting in your life actually okay and making it work because these energies come and if you don't do anything well they leave also so you need to somehow take it and store it inside of you and use it yeah it's like uh, the warmth you know you need to be feeling warm so the moment you cover yourself you feel warm on a cold cold day but it is up to you of how long you want to keep this coat on yourself okay and if you don't take it well you're going to feel cold so it's the same way for the energies too and then with this triumphant and successful enterprising energy you are going to the third week now in the third week you have two things on your mind one is the family and one is the career one is your love and one is your career everywhere the career is on the side okay so it is speaking about balancing my dear uh, cancer the third week is all about balancing between these two sectors of your life you will be called upon to make certain sacrifices those sacrifices either have to be made on the family front or your career front which one is suffering for you at the moment you will have to decide my dear cancer and when this kind of sacrifice is called upon i would almost suggest to you dear cancer don't take it as a sacrifice take it as an act of love the moment you do something for someone and you say oh i have to sacrifice this for you what happens is that you become a victim of the circumstances but at the same time if you say i did it out of love it was an act of love that i gave up this but it was for love that i did it i did it out of love when you say that automatically this energy turns into the energy of love so please try to focus on that in the third week wherein you will be called upon to make some concessions you will have to be extremely tolerant you will have to make concession towards your loved ones regarding a particular situation and um, it's not very easy to balance that sometimes because sometimes you have your uh, aspirations you have your ambitions but then uh, when a loved one needs more of your time uh, and that work thing is very important at that time for you that time you feel a bit you know like uh, in a tug of war and at that time uh, you feel oh okay fine i'll sacrifice it because cancerians are the epitome of that i would say they give up things very easily for their loved ones and so at this point of time don't enter into that sacrifice game but just enter into the act of love say okay i will do it out of love and i will try to balance these two spheres of your, my life so that none of them suffers so please do that because most probably in the third week you might be uh, having extra responsibilities maybe an extra you know maybe you will be promoted maybe uh, you will uh, get some extra project on hand or some extra work comes in and you had already promised um, some of your near and dear ones that you're going to take them for holidays for example and the work is calling you so well this is where you have to uh, play the umpire i would say play the referee between two things and see how you are going to balance it so the third week is all about uh, making sacrifices uh, making uh, changes in order to bring about a balance a very uh, healthy balance between your work and the rest of your life your family life your love life 
or your other hobbies for example okay and then with this energy of love and caring and sharing and giving up and considering and being tolerant and compromising we go to the fourth week well the fourth week energy is a tricky energy because it can be you if you are a cancerian who is alone a cancerian taking the loneliness with a lot of difficulties it's very difficult for you to be lonely you don't like it at all otherwise you might be dealing with a person who is very cold who is um, very sharp uh, to talk to not very polite very 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 sharp and uh, that is hurting right when you're a water sign especially cancerian uh, it, it hurts when somebody speaks sharp or you know very rudely to you that's not that's not good to be rude right but some people are like that because um, they cannot be otherwise they are brought up like that the circumstances were like that or they have lots of past regrets inside of them uh, that makes them like that okay so somebody of this kind of a person a lonely person you are dealing with this kind of an energy person in the last week and this person is uh, not a very um, positive influence okay so you need to be very careful especially on your back because you can receive a backstab so you need to be careful you might almost know with your intuitive nature as to who is this person in the surrounding okay so uh, i would almost like to tell you is that if you are suffering loneliness you need to get out of the house first of all and go and mingle with people yeah and throw that birthday party yes and have fun but if you are not suffering any kind of loneliness and if you have a person around you like this um, you need to take care how do you take care now you need to take care by protecting yourself by protecting yourself is not giving them all the information that it lashes back upon you one day okay because they can use it one day to attack you back so don't do that protect yourself also means spiritually speaking please try to meditate be more in your center pray more or you know get grounded inside of you so that no matter who this person is in your entourage uh, cannot harm you in any way possible when does a person harm you my dear cancerians is when you give them a chance to harm you nobody just nobody can get you down without your permission you better say that to yourself nobody can get me down without my permission if i allow then somebody can get me down otherwise no your reaction to a particular action of a person is the answer is the cause of your happiness or your sadness my dear cancer so you need to know that in the fourth week and take care of this kind of influence of uh, people who are around you and who are trying to um, you know create this kind of energy for you wherein you feel like a, uh, a victim i would say secondly it also can be uh, for the cancerians who are recently divorced or in the process of divorce uh, it is about their ex-partner and uh, this ex-partner is creating problems also yeah regarding maybe it is regarding your divorce case or something the person is not very sure what they want to do so they are behaving a bit uh, nasty at that time but you need to have compassion for them because um, you need to have your peace of mind okay so try to uh, balance uh, that part and uh, try to get um, as harmoniously possible and keeping in mind that peace of mind is uh, the most important to you at this point of time don't give them a chance to you know create more and more turbulence in the already turbulent situation if you are heading towards a divorce uh, my dear cancerians um, it also means about an ex-partner who is making an appearance an ex-partner whom you have had enough of are knocking on your door so it's your choice uh, at the first uh, to start with you have to know my dear cancerians why did you move out of this relationship 
and if something has moved out is it really worth uh, that the person comes back into your life okay so you have to take these important decisions in the fourth week because there are going to be some energies wherein some kind of uh, past things are coming back into your life so this is all about dealing with the energies of the past and you know what I always say past is past it's gone okay so unless and until you wanted the person too much and is coming back but the person is not in a very good state also of mind okay they are hurt and they want to hurt you back also so please take care of your heart first because you have already given them a chance in the past so this will be your choice okay let the past be in the past is my uh, friendly advice to you at this point of time dear cancer and uh, in your work sphere take care of uh, some jealousies in the fourth week so as I said protect yourself because the fourth week's energy is about a bit of uh, you know backstabbing jealousies a uh, bit of you know backbiters and you know what is good when I say backstabbing uh, backbiting what is all about is back because they are behind you so it's all back okay so let them be on your back okay you go ahead you just protect your back and just go ahead okay so this is what you have to take care of my dear cancerians so all in all it looks like a nice um, month for you um, especially it is a month of uh, making your finances better finding a balance in your uh, work and a love life and a family life and your personal commitments um, and also uh, a month to know who is really by your side who you can trust okay so all in all the universe is showing the little baby cancer see this is the world and now you have to get wiser you have to grow uh, you have to grow wiser and more spiritual and more stronger because there is nothing that is impossible for you to achieve because you are full of the strength inside of you even if you are hard you know that hard carapace is given to the cancer sign yeah it is too for protection but inside they are little soft beings yes so be a soft inside but when these kind of situations can arise which are a little bit tough you have your carapace to protect you so i wish you all the best my dear cancerians i wish you a wonderful birthday uh, full of dream fulfillments wish fulfillments peace prosperity and very very positive energy and lots of strength and courage in order to achieve what you want in this coming year my dear cancer so happy birthday and god bless you all take good care of yourself please do like share and comment and i'm going to see you with the message of the universe so stay tuned bye bye take care bye